Okay, let's get this show on the road. I'm home now. Did a morning vlog and did uh, an afternoon vlog. So let's see how it uh, works out. We're going to start with another video. I think you'll like this one. It's nice and short. But anyhow, here we go. I wonder. Okay, I got the uh, mic right at me. I don't know if this is a good idea, but that's what I got. So I got Wanda right there at f2.8. Yeah. Hmm, I just noticed that. Well, let me put the... Uh, there we go. Got the lens head on. I'm going to move it to 2.8. Yep, it's there. 1 over 60. Here are my voice. Is she clear? Let's see. Yeah, she looks like it. Ought to focus on. Yeah. The only reason why she's here is I'm eating a sandwich. Let's see where the rest of the gang is. Doing a video. This is different, having the mic turn backwards. It's just a test trial. If we're going to vlog, just do it different ways. Let me go outside and see. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, there's Dusty. Yeah, it's a jungle out here. I'm going to have to cut all these. I like to burn those. Yeah, I'm all the grass this weekend. It's been hot, folks. I need to trim these limbs. Great shade, but it's hot out here. Yeah, I'm on the grass. Sometime this weekend. Okay. This is a quick video. Okay, I'm back. I hope the first part wasn't muted, but um, anyhow, there's the uh, A7C. Let's get a pan on there. Let's see what, which one is it? Ah, wrong one. So here I am, 6100. Now oh, I got the bag in the way. Sorry about that. Well, puppy's in here, but he's by my, she's by my feet. Guess camera. Let's see if I can see it shuts off, comes back on, drives me nuts. Yeah, of course I can. Here's the eight seven C from a camcorder. Can't beat that. Of course, here's the Z72. I'm gonna get in focus first. That's better. I don't know if it's in focus. Yeah, let's, let's 
see what happens with this. Yeah, I guess it's in focus. Okay, I didn't see any any marks. Must have hit the display part. But anyway, that's what it, about this camera. This one has the 85 millimeter on there. But uh, I'm the first video is the morning going to work, and uh, it's the 50 millimeter f 1.8. So let's see how this performs. All right, folks. Back in the saddle again, one more time. This time, I'm backing out. I'm trying at uh, 60 millimeters. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I promised a car vlog. Clean the windshields. You know you got good windshield wipers when you hear that squeaking. So I think I got the best position to keep this camera on. I'm trying to get it off the uh, dashboard, but it looks like I got too much of it. So I'm going to raise it a little bit more. Okay, that's a lot better. Hopefully. And hopefully it doesn't fall off. It was pretty well situated yesterday. <sighs> I got active stabilization off. I'm using a Rode wireless mic. Hopefully that's less uh, noise. Ah, just too noisy with the uh, ceremonic. Um, it's in a little bit more. There we go. Okay. Green light. All right. So, I'll keep an eye on it. Make sure it doesn't dip too far. Uh, that's the last thing I want is a little accident. Okay. So you don't get to see myself, you get to see uh, how I go to work, how the traffic is on this beautiful day, 87 degrees. Got a cold front, folks. It's only 87. Okay, so I turn the reason why I turn off active stabilization is uh, I was getting that warpy sign inside the car. So I'm wondering if it was the vibration, you know, the air conditioner on the engine, um, uh, going and. Uh, Since I've turned it off, I don't have that uh, warpy stuff, the mirage effect. It's really pronounced on the A7C more than the uh, uh, ZV-E10. But uh, EV-10 was kind of like a line skipping. And this is at, I think, 4K60. I'll have to check because uh, I've been experimenting between the 30 and the 60. Was that the ZV-10? You know what? I've only had this camera for three days. Putting it to the ringer. 
Looks like it does a great job on the aperture, the ISO. Thank you. All right, staying in place so far. We'll see if the camera falls. <laughs> All right. So, when I had it this position yesterday, going home with that Saramonic uh, shotgun mic, um, it picked up all the noise in the car. It's like when I had the ZV-10 or even the ZFC down on the floorboard, it picked up even the, uh, the noise from the highway, you know, with the tires and stuff. So it's not, not a fancy car. This is 20 years old. Man, it's bright. Clouds. Come on, clouds, do your job. Now, this is a kit lens 28 to 60. Want to try it out? Taking some pictures. I got me the uh, little case bag that I showed on the video last night of uh, where I used the Sigma Trio case that came with it, the F1.4s for the APS-C line, the 16, 30, and uh, 56 millimeters. But instead, since I got two of those lenses on cameras now, I'm using the, uh, besides the kit lens that's on the camera, there we go. I hope this truck doesn't go in the right lane again. A lot of these guys, they can't make up their mind in which lane to go. When you get on the highway, you're supposed to go at full speed or close to it. Go with the uh, flow of the tra traffic. But you're not supposed to uh, go over the speed limit. And what a lot of these guys do is they get in the very right lane and pass everybody. The dumb part about it is when the guy has the, uh, the police officer has the uh, speed gun active, he can tell, and since you're the closest one to the speed gun and you happen to be speeding, you get caught. Now, if you drive with like a trucks on both sides and or you know a lot of vehicles and if it's not stop and go traffic doing good okay I'm going to click that a little bit. Looks like it leaned. Nice thing is, uh, I like this Manfrotto uh, tripod. It's very stable. It can hold a pretty much heavy camera. I'm trying to straighten it a little bit. There we go. Probably don't have the tripod on correct. Well, maybe I do. So, um, this way, if you see the warpy uh, stuff, then I can say, oh, it's the heat, it's the mirage effect. Maybe I can get away with it this time. <laughs> oh man, that car is damaged. Hyundai, someone hit it on the side.
what a lot of people don't realize is, you know, besides uh, a lot of the trash and stuff that gets to the side of the uh, highway, there's more little rocks. And so if a car has to uh, get on the right-hand side, let's say change a tire or whatever, he's flinging up those rocks and that's how you get your windshields broken. So they do have uh, street sweepers that uh, are maintained on the uh, highway, but they usually do it at night. You know, it's like a convoy. So one vehicle with lights, one with water, one comes with street sweeper. I think they have a vacuum to it too. I'm not sure. Look at that. Green light all the way. My goodness, what's going on? Ah, that's okay. Yeah, it's 9.30. At least I, I was running a little late yesterday. But I've been sleeping pretty good. I've been taking my vitamins. It's the, uh, taking the uh, Centrium 50 Plus. It has all the vitamins in there. You know, like the zinc potassium, magnesium, B12, but uh, since I've been taking that stuff, I haven't got woken up in the middle of the night with leg cramps, especially after I mow the grass. And you know you're in trouble if you're uh, getting leg cramps in the middle of the night and you haven't mowed the grass. So since I've been taking this medicine, a little leg cramps, but that's I think because of blood circulation, you know, the way I like getting my uh, sofa, eat dinner, already fed the animals, turn on YouTube, next thing you know it, I heard this awful sound, wake up look around I got two dogs in my lap I don't know how they got there the cat is staring at me then I realized that someone was snoring that was what that awful sound was so I think it was Wanda the Chihuahua it's got to be her because uh, she was snoring still so that woke me up And since I'm the only human in the house, there's no witnesses. And the ones I do have, they're either asleep or they think it's normal. <laughs> All right, so you're getting a grand view of how I go and get my Frappy Mocha. And that's what I'm gonna name this video. see the birds maybe not there's a lot of birds still here all right so uh, kind of wondering about the uh, apertures of now it's pointing out the window I got it at uh, I don't know if it's in focus I really can't tell with this LCD screen. And the funny thing about it is, I get it like a little bit more than halfway. If it's halfway, it turns off. Then it goes upside down. <laughs> Boy, that didn't work. So uh, I got a little bit beyond halfway. And uh, looks like it's good. Ah, there's that RAM. Uh, I was thinking like getting a vehicle on the left, you know, the white uh, van. I guess it's for industrial uh, stuff. But, you know, I can put my camera here in there. I can put a computer, you know, a little desk or whatever. That'd be a great traveling. Put a little place to sleep. 
Yeah, when I travel, I can take my camera gear, a little sleeping bag or whatever. The only thing you need is a shovel and toilet paper. Yeah, since it's so hot outside, there's a guy usually out here taking your orders, and he knows what I order every day. So, he just wastes me through. <sighs> That's okay. I can talk to the lady in the box. That good windshield one. Unless it's on the inside. No, nope, it's on the outside. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get the Windex bottle out. Can I have a large mocha frap? Okay. That's it. Alright, your show is going to be... Uh, 508. But yeah, a different window. Thank you. Alright. Uh, they got new people. So, maybe uh, the, the guy, I haven't seen him. I saw him one day this past week. Uh, but maybe he's on vacation. But the car is there, the student driver car, so I don't know. Come on, Jetta, moot up. There you go. I've been looking at Jettas also, but Volkswagen made me mad because I uh, brought my vehicle in to get it serviced, and we don't work on cars more than 10 years old. I says, yeah, but this is 20. This is a classic. I've always come here to uh, get it service on the big stuff. He says, well, we won't service it because we don't have the parts for it. So I went down the street and they work on classic bugs and they had the parts for it. Get a little caffeine in me. Get me going so I can run circles around uh, my fellow employees. And it's pretty good when a 65 year old can do circles. Let's see, I got about another 2,000 miles for the oil. I'm gonna put in that defoam stuff, clean out the engine. I'll just have it oil early. Good morning. Good morning. All right. Yeah. Oh, I love that. You know, an instant. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. You too. Thank you. Stay cool. I see. Oh man, it's hot. Good morning. Good morning. Thank Good morning. you. Have a great one. Thank you. All right. Look at that. Yeah. The only time I had to stop was, well, turning right from uh, Westbuck Parkway and then uh, getting my frappy mocha. Everything else is like straight. Ah, you know what? That wasn't the oil light warning. It was a gas warning. I need to put gas in there. 
Yeah, is that 256? I can get up to like 265 in the city. If I'm driving on a highway, if I go 65 miles an hour, I can get 100 more miles. And then if I drove 55 miles an hour, I can get up to like 400 miles. Take that, electric vehicles. Yeah, you gotta. I get an electric vehicle. You gotta plan your trips where the chargers are. There's more and more chargers coming, but there's different type of charges. And then with inflation, everybody's raising prices. So just watch. They're gonna make electric bills, or when you're charging your vehicles, same as the gas prices. And then the government's gonna tax that too. <laughs> That's a money game, folks. Everybody wants your money. And remember, when you're uh, putting your money in Social Security, when you retire, you hope you can get some of that back. <laughs> if it's still functional. You know, there's a lot more people retiring than there are uh, people working. People having less kids. People living longer. It's recording. I might have done all this session without it recording. And then I'm going to be mad. Okay. Pothole City. So, I've seen tests where they had cameras out in the sun. And I do have the air conditioner on, but it's only... Ha! Huh, I only have it on one setting instead of two. Unbelievable. What's wrong with you? Oh, that's right. My glasses won't fog up when I get out of the car. <laughs> All right. There we go. Home sweet home. This is where I spend most of my life, folks. I love it. I love it. Ouch. That hurt. That's what the car says. Uh, yeah. There's the uh, OTRs where it goes to the airport and the packages go in there and then they come into the facility to the left of me, into the main facility to the right of me, and they process it. I like facing the sun to the south because if the back window is facing the south, then it gets hot in here, even if I have the reflector on. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of vehicles here. And these guys, they drive these big trucks. Eight miles to the gallon is what I hear on the mail trucks. Left is up in arms about uh, why the post office is wasting money when it should be more environmental. Less smog. That's gas hogs. Okay, here I go. So, I'm gonna end this video. Well, 
turn it around real quick. See if it's on record. Yep, it's recording. Ta da! Let me, uh, probably overblown. Okay, I'm at 28 millimeters. Okay. Ha! Huh, it's funny. I shift it from left to right. I don't know if that's a common thing. Cameras always uh, fool me. So I'm going to end this uh, video. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, hope you didn't see any warpy stuff. But uh, as always, if you like it, please give me a like. Please subscribe. Please, if you have a question, put it in the comments. I'll answer you. I don't have that many people watching my videos, but I enjoy doing this content. I like showing off the uh, gadgets that I get. And uh, if I'm interested, I will use it. So, anyway, stay safe, keep smiling, and until next time, bye.